The human brain is what makes us so unique amongst mammals and is a major reason for our success as a species. We have the largest brain of all vertebrates relative to our body size. And to keep it ticking over, we need to eat proportionally more calories each day. Your brain is an incredible organ that is responsible for every single function and process that occurs in your body. In fact, it's the reason why you're able to watch, listen, and most importantly, understand and learn from this video. In this video, we're going to look at the major parts of the brain. The cerebrum is the largest component of your brain, making up almost 80% of its mass. It's made up of about 86 billion nerve cells, known as neurons, folded into a structure known as the cerebral cortex. The folds with all the neurons are known as grey matter, which are connected together by billions of nerve fibres, called axons, and dendrites, which make up the white matter. The more white matter present, the more communication occurs between the grey matter. As well as being relatively bigger than the brains of other animals, human brains also have many more neurons per unit volume, thanks to the folded structure. Other intelligent animals like apes and dolphins also have folds in their cortex, whereas less intelligent animals like mice have smooth brains. The cerebrum is divided into two hemispheres, the left and the right. These two hemispheres communicate with one another via a bridge-like structure known as a corpus callosum. The left hemisphere controls all of the muscles on the right side of your body and the right hemisphere controls the left side. Everyone uses both halves of your brain all the time. Each hemisphere is further divided into four lobes, each responsible for specific functions. As well as having many more neurons per volume, humans also have the largest frontal lobes. The frontal lobe regulates our personality, self-control, logic and emotions. Lots of things that make us typically human. The parietal lobe is responsible for bodily sensations, visual and spatial perceptions. The occipital lobe regulates vision. The temporal lobe is responsible for hearing, speech and our ability to learn languages. Right underneath the cerebrum there is the cerebellum, a much smaller structure that is responsible for balance, posture and movement. There are even smaller structures, though don't let their size fool you. The hypothalamus, which is no larger than an average size coin in diameter, regulates many important processes such as body temperature, sleep cycles and thirst and hunger. The pituitary gland, which is even smaller, is responsible for almost all hormone releases into our bloodstreams. And on top of that, it's also in charge of many other organs that also release hormones. At the base is the brainstem, which is made up of two parts the pons and the medulla oblongata. The most important function of the pons is to regulate breathing and the medulla oblongata plays a role in regulating cardiac functions such as blood pressure and heart rates. The brain is connected to the rest of your body through the spinal cord where 31 pairs of spinal nerves serve to help communication with the rest of the body. So there we have an introduction to our incredible brain. It receives input from our sensory organs and sends outputs to our muscles, organs and rest of the body. Here are three questions to test to see what you can remember. Pause the video and give them a go. Did you get them right? If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.